In my spare time, I actually do enjoy just scrolling through Twitter and it's a habit that I kind of need to limit because it can just get a bit toxic and it's a big time bucket in my eyes. But I understand the significance of Twitter and how articles and news appear there first. Now, this video is kind of about two separate articles that were side by side that I saw whilst scrolling through my timeline and it made me realize well I've realized for quite a while but this sort of stuff just keeps happening everywhere not just in America but across in Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, many many western countries this is considered normal um, so I'm going to read you two articles, one that you may have heard if you're American or you follow what's going on in America, and the other you might not know. So let's start with the first one. This is from the Mail Online, and it says, Minneapolis School District defends deal with teachers' union to lay off white staff ahead of people of colour because it will remedy the effects of past discrimination. So to get rid of that past discrimination, to end racism, just fire public school teachers, white public school teachers in Minneapolis. That'll get rid of it. That'll do the job. A Minneapolis school board has defended its contract that promotes laying off white teachers ahead of those of colour to reverse prior racism. Minneapolis Public Schools doubled down on its deal, which states instead of teachers' layoffs or relocations being decided based on seniority, as is typical, schools can ignore that protocol and dismiss senior staff members if otherwise a teacher of colour would be laid off. It is said the new contract is being used to remedy the continuing effects of past discrimination. And this is a thing that's completely normalized now and that's um that's really sad to put it bluntly i mean there has been pushback you've seen many commentators come on board and speak against critical race theory from all over but it resides really to the individual it can't be up to politicians or um commentators to come on and just you know really push back against this sort of narrative it has to be done within people too it's kind of my point so anyway that was the first article that i saw the second article that was next to it was by sky news royal air force pauses job offers for white men to meet impossible diversity targets the alleged move has prompted the head of recruitment for the royal air force herself a senior female officer to resign in recent days in protest so there is i guess some sort of pushback it's a shame that that basically cost this person their job to basically resign in protest but let's keep reading the head of raf recruitment has resigned in protest at an effective pause on offering jobs to white male recruits in favor of women and ethnic minorities, defence sources have claimed. The senior female officer apparently handed in her notice in recent days amid concerns that any such restrictions on hiring, however temporary and limited, could undermine the fighting strength of the Royal Air Force, the sources said. They said the service was attempting to hit impossible diversity targets. We're seeing this a lot. Critical race theory has affected... Many institutions, educational systems, the workplace. Over here in the UK, you can pin it towards the Equalities Act of 2010. That's basically the catalyst for critical race theory to be used in the workforce and, of course, the wider society, institutions and many others as well. Basically to say that uh, based on an immutable characteristic, you are held to a different standard than to others many other just workforces and you know even governmental 
bodies and organisations saying or normalising anti-white rhetoric. And it's a big shame that uh, a lot of the populace sort of just turn a blind eye or, or have this fear of saying, hang on a minute, that's wrong. All you need to do is change the wording. So, for example, if we were to change the words in this one. Minneapolis School District defends deal with teachers union to lay off Asian staff ahead of white people because it would remedy the effects of past discrimination. Now, does that make sense? No. No, it doesn't. And it's wrong to do that. It's also illegal, just to FYI. It's pretty illegal to do that, especially in the UK. Gosh, you can't even put up a mean tweet without someone appearing at your door and uh, wanting to whisk you away in the old meat wagon. So, why is it suddenly normalised the other way round, is my question. And I guess the answer is pretty simple. It's quite a layered answer, but I'm going to attempt to answer it as basic as possible. And that is guilt. That is forced guilt on things that have happened in the past that are well out of everyone's control in the current present of history. Now, it is well out of our control. What is done is done. What has happened has happened. But reigniting this flame of, of division over immutable characteristics is just extremely, A, in bad faith, morally corrupt, and mental, <laughs> to put it in, uh, in basic terms. It's this guilt that is driven through things such as critical race theory, neo-Marxist propaganda is essentially what it is, to ignite more division within the workforce, the wider society and many others based upon race. And it's proved to be quite effective because it holds a shackle to people in order to feel guilt, in order to feel shame for themselves, even though it's got nothing to do with particular people, white people, for, for instance. And I don't understand why it's so potent still. I mean, for years and years and years, people have called people white supremacists, racists, just for voting for Brexit just for voting for Trump, just for going against the narrative, just for questioning things about immigration, for example. It's a scary direction. I guess the point of this video is just to highlight that this is extremely normalised and has been for quite some time now. But I think it's now down to individuals, doesn't matter who you are, what community you're from, to actually go, do you know what? This is wrong. This shouldn't be happening. We shouldn't. We're better than this as people. So, where do we go from here? If you're enjoying my reports, you can watch more over at ukreporters.co.uk, where not only can you watch what's going on in the UK side of things, the Dutch Farmer Rebellion, COVID, and many other topics are there at ukreporters.co.uk. You can even read articles that were written by not only myself, Ian Miles Chong, and various others from the team. Thank you.